Hey there, thank you for tuning into SimTech channel in this series of tutorial on components of an electrical substation. This is tutorial 9. If you want to know more about other components of an electrical substation such as transformers, power transformers, uh, circuit switches, disconnectors and surge arresters, please watch my previous tutorial in this series. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the current transformer and voltage transformer functionality in an electrical substation now these components they are very 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 crucial without them the operation in a substation will be very difficult and unpredictable great now first off let's uh, take a look at what is a current transformer okay now the current transformer or ct this is a very crucial component in an electrical substation i will actually say in most application involving electricity electrical current or electronics the application or the use of cities are very crucial because almost nothing can be achieved without them now let's take a simple example of your electricity box your distribution box in your house okay now you are being charged per kilowatt hour that is what you are paying to your electrical utility but now the only way they're able to measure the power that you are using in your house is because of the city the city has to measure how much current you are drawing from the system because the voltage is fixed okay so now depending on which part of the world you are your voltage is either 120 volt ac or 230 volt ac or you have a 400 volt three-phase system now that voltage is fixed there may be some fluctuation but in the most part it will be fixed so the only element that will change there is the current so we need to be able to measure the current as you are using your electrical appliances in your house and based on the value of the current that will be changing we can be able to measure how much power you are using in your house now that is precisely the reason why current transformer are also used in substation to measure okay great so if you uh, work into a substation or a switch yard an electrical switch yard you're going to see on the incoming side of the switch yard component that looks exactly like this one here okay or that looks very similar without this connection point here okay so those are your cities and your vt now because they both uh, function differently they perform different tasks so the way they are connected are also different so the current transformer okay it needs to measure the current okay like we've already said so if you've got a circuit like this okay you've got a bulb okay and you've got a power supply here or a battery that is able to supply power to this bulb here okay so assume this is your ground point so now if you want to measure the current that is flowing through this bulb like this okay now the only way you can be able to measure it is by breaking the path of the current and inserting a device here that is able to read this value of the current and based on some conversion that you can do here then you can do some reading okay so that is a traditional way in which you can measure the current here obviously you can connect uh, sensors resistors okay current sensing resistors and that will basically convert the current into a voltage that you can also read and have it uh, be proportional to the current there okay so that is basically the principle in which this city here is operating so you've got uh, your incoming line coming in like this okay and it's going through into the transformer okay now inside here you've got your your coil based on the ratio of this coil you can have a one amp or a five amps on your secondary here that will be proportional to the amount of current that will be crossing through your primary here okay and inside here the magic will happen based on that uh, ratios of your city now then on your output here it's gonna go out this way and into the other city now these other city will then supply the voltage the current the power into the outgoing system now why do they have cities on both sides obviously this is a transformer it might be a step down or a step up transformer so which basically means the current on the primary side or the secondary side will not be the same it will be different so it is important that 
we must be able to measure both sides of the current that way we can see if there is an issue happening on either side of the circuit great so that is the basic function of your current transformer in terms of measuring now i've got a tutorial about the selection of a current transformer i'm going to include the link in the description box below and you are more than welcome to watch that tutorial if you want to know more about the characteristics of high voltage cities in terms of the accuracy class and the protection class in which they are able to be used now moving forward if you find this tutorial useful please make sure you give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to simtech channel if you want to see more tutorial of this nature and you are more than welcome to basically share this tutorial into your social media network that will be highly appreciated so basically the three main function of a current transformer they are one to measure two to protect and the last one is to control so it need to be able to measure the accurate current and then it must be able to provide protection once that current go outside of bounds and it need to control uh, equipment such as circuit breaker to provide the signal for the tripping okay so in that current transformer the secondary current has to represent the primary current okay based on the ratio it need to be proportional so that you don't get uh values that does not represent and give a false trigger for tripping a circuit breaker so the secondary winding as you can see here there is this high voltage uh cable that is passing through there providing a high current there and somewhere here you're going to have a low signal current based on the transformer or the 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 the, the call ratio of that city okay so now that secondary winding is insulated from that high voltage side so that the low voltage uh devices the low voltage devices here like your relay coil that need to send a signal to your circuit breaker must not be damaged from the high voltage current okay so basically the cities is an intelligence gathering device that's what you need to know because it's need to be able to tell your power system the, the substation whether everything is performing well or there is a change in the system the current there is fluctuations or things are not going as planned then it need to send all that information into the protection relays so that they can perform what they are meant to do great so that is in short what the current transformer is all about now let's take a look at the voltage transformer now the voltage transformer or also known as a potential transformer these are also used for metering purposes for voltage measurement so these are basically step down transformer so it will read the high voltage on the high voltage side okay and then it's going to scale it down and measure the accurate low voltage side for measuring purposes now this is important why because if you've got substation that are directly supplying to industrial site now we know that large industrial facilities they've got all sort of loads there and these type of load they usually can have an effect on the system in in such that they might make the system to become unbalanced because of the voltage drops okay now the power utility makes always ensure that it is able to measure accurately the voltage level on each one of the phase so that it's able to build the industries that is responsible for causing these uh voltage to drops so that is one of the main reason voltage transformers are used uh to accurately measure and build uh, industrial site so now for protection purposes we know that current transformers they step in once they see a change in the current they have to step in and provide signal to the circuit breaker to interrupt the circuit so that is it guys for this tutorial about the application of voltage transformers and current transformers in substation so if you want to know more please make sure that you watch the previous tutorial in this series where i go through many other components of an electrical substation and also if you find this tutorial useful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel that would be highly appreciated until next time cheers